My grief counselor died. But he was so good, I don't care. Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content, like Savage Forms, Corbin. And spank yo mama on the bottom of her booty. Spank yo mama on the bottom of her booty. Where else can you spank people? You don't want to know? By definition, it has to be the butt. Does not. It's a slap. A <laughs> if you don't do it on the butt, it's, it's a also slap. a pair of pants. So, what are you going to do with that? What? Spanks. God. Today, if uh, you're wondering, because you've made no seen one this is. a couple times, no one is. That guy right there is. Uh, this is from a great place called Portos. If you ever come to SoCal, go to Portos. I will not. Yes, uh, you will. You know Portos is great. I actually, I've been to Portos. I've never actually had Portos though. It's fantastic. Everything they have is fantastic. Uh, this is actually another video about the uh, the India Moon mission, but it's uh, got sent this quite a bit, and it's a follow up. But it's why is the West questioning India's achievements? Is what they do. and I think who in the West is questioning their achievements? I think we'll find out. Yeah, uh, and it's uh, I think we've it, seen this reporter before. Um, and so it's the female, and I believe we've seen her before, uh, so you might recognize her. But okay. uh, it got sent us uh, quite a bit, and so I don't know exactly. I know I think it has something to do with the moon, but I don't know if it's a, everything to do with the moon uh, landing. And I don't know if the West is America or if it's yeah, England, it could be Europe. Yeah, every yeah. there's a whole lot to uh, lump in that category. What it is, uh, but let's just figure out uh, about unless this is about Kanye, which would be a big shock. <laughs> Why is Kanye questioning them? Yeah, why is Kanye West questioning? Let's start our next story with a cartoon. <laughs> From the New York Times, it shows two men sitting inside a room. It's called the Elite Space Club. One of them is reading a newspaper. Yikes. The headline says, India's Mars mission. It is shown as a man with a cow. India is shown as a man with a cow knocking on the door. I'm sure you'll agree that this is racist and in very poor I don't. taste. I'm sure you've seen the cartoon before. Well, I think it's the fact that I don't. they're depicting India as a man version. with a cow. Will the New York Times publish something that is more in tune with reality? I'd love to, to, I'd love to hear from the person who's... Because the West is back to playing its old games, discrediting India's achievements and questioning India's motives. Let me lay out the facts first. Chandrayaan-3 is an Indian mission in space. That's true. It is the world's first to land on the moon's south pole. That's true. This is a fact. As we speak, the Pragyan rover is out exploring, looking for traces of water. This too is a fact. Oh, that's cool. Also, I, I didn't see that one. for India. A big achievement for science and a gift to the world. But how have they responded? With skepticism, condescension and their trademark hypocrisy listen to this as they spend their money on space probes as they spend their money on the military they spend their money on nuclear weapons still half of the country lives below the poverty line but the biggest injustice of all is what that was nigel farage the man who heralded brexit a politician known for his scandals and his hypocrisy he says india is wasting money on space missions why because half of its population lives in poverty the racism is shining through also the utter disconnect with reality we are happy to share some facts with mr farage it may have slipped his notice that india is the world's fifth largest economy it is in fact ahead of his country the united kingdom but it seems he can't get rid of his colonial mindset. I mean, how can poor India have aspirations? How can a former colony reach the moon before the so-called Great Britain? And since he's so keen on discussing priorities, we have a question for him. The end. Why does Britain keep paying for the royal family? Their citizens cannot afford their electricity bills. Maybe he has that's, that's definitely true. I, did. <laughs> I definitely don't understand the royal family for sure. Let me show you another bizarre comment. This is from a man called Patrick Christie. He calls himself a journalist, and this is what he said. Congratulate India on landing on the dark side of the moon. I would also like to now invite India to return the £2.3 billion foreign aid money that we sent them between 2016 and 2021. We're also set to give them £57 million next year, but I think the British taxpayer should keep hold of that, don't you? We should not be giving money to countries with a space program. Do you as a rule, if you can afford to fire a rocket at the dark side of the moon, you shouldn't be coming to us with your handout. Do you know? Wait, okay. 
If you can afford to fire a rocket, you shouldn't be coming to us with your hand out for foreign aid. Those were his words. But is India going to the UK for foreign aid? Let's have the answer from their own foreign office. This is what they said, and I'm quoting. Since 2015, the UK has given no financial aid to the government of India. Most of our funding now is focused on business investments, which help create new markets and jobs for the UK as well as India. This is what their foreign office has said. Christie's also mentioned a figure, 2.3 billion pounds. What about that? It's from a report by the UK aid spending watchdog ICAI and Patrick Christie's clearly did not read the whole report, but we did it for him. The figure is not foreign aid, it includes investments and revenue through multilateral channels. The same report notes that this aid is a tool of UK foreign policy, basically a way to stay in New Delhi's good books. Also, no one is begging for it. But who will explain that to the West? In their mind, this is still the Raj. And these are comments that would have made Churchill happy. But we are happy to burst their bubble. This is the 21st century. India is a global power, not a former impoverished colony. In 2011, then Finance Minister of India, Pranam Mukherjee, told the UK that India does not need its aid. And London admitted that the aid had no impact on India's development. Now, India has landed on the moon, and British influencers say, return our aid money. If you're going down that road, let's start with reparations. Let's start with the colonial loot. Return that money first. And we have the bill. Some $45 trillion, that's what Britain looted from India between 1765 and 1938. And this is just an estimate. The actual figure could be much higher. But even this $45 trillion is about 15 times Britain's GDP. How about London returns this money first? Instead of discrediting India's achievement with juvenile conspiracy theories, look at this one now. It says, India faked the moon landing. What do you even say to this? I wonder if that was the guy that was referring to in the first button, video. Just this video. It shows the Pragyan rover rolling out of the lander, moving on the surface of the moon, leaving India's mark literally and creating history. We know all of this. We don't need validation from the West or cartoons from their press. But we must set the record straight. We need to take control of our stories, we say, else we'll be held hostage to narratives created by others. We'll be trapped in their version of our truth. Gotcha. So, yeah, it is, a, uh, I guess, a lot of the British guy. And then what were you looking up about the cartoon at the beginning? I, I wanted to see the context of the cartoon, okay. and I would have loved to have heard from the person who wrote it as to what they were wanting to convey. Because there's two, me like most good political satire cartoons, mm -hmm. there's more than one message being conveyed. And it would be interesting to know what was the point of the drawing. Yeah. Because when I saw the drawing, it spoke to me very specific intentional stereotyping to accentuate the point that for so, so long... The West has made this elitist status of themselves and relegated India to the stereotype knocking at the door. Mm -hmm. And within that imagery comes the messaging of not only are your stereotypes wrong, they're not just knocking at the door, they're leading. I, I don't think, like most political satire cartoons, it's not to be taken at face value. There's there's other messaging that's far more important than what you're seeing at face value. Absolutely, it would be uh, interesting to. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to know this. that. And the then and the other thing is is yes. On the one hand, it's ridiculous for 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 if anybody's going to have a say about what India is doing with its own money, it should be Indians, not yeah. someone from outside the country. But the other thing I I'm not a fan of is quoting individual people whom I don't know who they are. And then making a blanket statement and saying, this is how the West thinks of us. Mm. That is completely irresponsible. Yeah. Because that's not true. I that's think not how the entirety of the West thinks about India. Are there a huge number of people that think that way? Of course. I just don't think it does anybody... Mm. There's nothing about that video in and of itself that's going to do anything other than piss people off. Yeah. Uh, I think on the... Um, and you made it, obviously... Good point, and I would love to know the actual intention of the cartoon, because I think the reason a lot of people might have been upset is that 
just like in Slumdog Millionaire, it shows India as this third world country that is carrying around cows and there's just they're just poor farmers all of them i, and, so I think that that's the main. and if that is the intent and if that's all that is then yes mm. that is completely imbecilic and short-sighted and and insulting as opposed to showing them in the cartoon as you know the um, what what uh, the is I, I don't know the the name of the uh the nasa india I, the only reason i call them a nasa is because i don't know the their their actual name and i think it's is something 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 um whatever the acronym for their space uh, program is uh so i think that was the main issue behind that um anytime india i mean uh, britain talks <laughs> about any money from india or to india i think obviously that's a laughable thing because of yeah the, if the there's any <laughs> if there's any place in the world that has zero <laughs> zero credibility in criticizing India for anything that India does. Yeah. It's great Britain. They should still be sending reparations. I mean, they should probably be sending reparations to most of the, the world. They should do what they should have done a long time ago, is that they should just mind their own business and focus on the any country that has a space program, any person can stand up and point a finger and say, you should have been using that money for fill in the blank. Yeah. It doesn't require much critical thinking to do that, nor does it require any courage to point out something like that. It's stupid. Yeah. So yeah, the, the England, anybody. And but again, this blanket statement of why is the West questioning India's achievements to take a couple of things, the first one being the New York Times political satire thing, which I would really love to know. I, I have a supposition behind that. If it is at face value, it is inappropriate, but most satire, as I said, is not yeah, at face value. Yeah. Okay. Um, secondarily, to take quotes from a few people in the West who I don't know who they are, and they're particularly British, and lump that into the totality of the West as questioning India's achievements only feeds this us and them mentality, which we need way less of in the world. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. So you guys can let us know, obviously, your thoughts on that. Um, and uh, if it, if you know any of the questions that we had, obviously, please answer those for us. Um, the reason I asked if it was New York Times, if it was a certain publication, I could probably have told you what their intent was. New yeah. York Times, I don't know um as much about in terms of because certain ones have a certain political backing that you like you know exactly where they're coming from yes um new york um, times is not really i think it was carried as an article a big budget yeah there's there's the thing i'm looking uh... regardless just let us know uh and we'll obviously look it up ourselves the intent of the cartoonist was to highlight how space exploration is no longer the exclusive domain of rich western countries Okay, I'm, I am pretty sure that the intent of that is a message to the Western elites and saying this is the way you view the world, but if you look at the real messaging here, they're not just knocking at the door in the same way they're not just these cow-toting people. I think the complete intent of the article was, yeah. and the, and the cartoon the was missed. Like I said, though, that just like in Slumdog Millionaire, they're showing they, they, everybody, the stereotype that everybody still thinks about India is right. they're but, cow but a, a, a slumdog bombers. wasn't satire. Yeah. I know. I, know. That's, I think that's just most people's frustration. I think if you, they showed just an India man with the ISO knocking at the door, I don't think people would be as... But then as, you don't get the intent behind the political... Yeah. That's the point mm. of political satire. It's the messaging of showing you the stereotype in order to try and break the stereotype. But yeah. this video and the outrage is saying it's a literal degradation of people by stereotype, and it's the exact opposite. Mm. Yeah. Well, obviously, let us know what you think about it uh, and any else we need to know and any other videos we can react to down below. And also, once again, congratulations, congratulations India. Yes. <laughs>